Why Fletcher and consulting? What do these two worlds share? Well, it turns out that Fletcher students and consultants share two very important traits. They're all intellectually curious, but they're also intellectually insecure. Well, let me explain what I mean by that. I've been a management consultant for going on 30 years now, and the best consultants I've known have all been intellectually curious. Obviously, if not, why would they go into consulting otherwise? But they're also intellectually insecure. Now, you may not think the consultants are insecure people, but remember, I'm saying intellectually insecure. And what does that really mean? That means that they want to know what it is they don't know. And once they know that, then they know what they have to find out. And that means that on every project, when they're doing a project with the switches from, so let's say they've worked in the automobile industry for six months and they're going to go on and work in a completely different industry, they'll always have to confront situations that they can't be experts in. The ones that are too secure basically float right through and don't learn enough. The ones that are insecure are the ones that will keep finding out, keep wanting to find out. They will never know enough. Now, that's consultants. Why are Fletcher students like that? Well, here at Fletcher, we welcome people from obviously all over the world. Uh, you can read at other places on the website how diverse and international we are. But we welcome people who are in change, in a state of change. Either they've been doing a domestic job in the country where they've worked and they want to become more international. Or they've been working in the private sector for years and they'd like to go into the public sector to transfer their private sector skills to an NGO. Or they've been working in the Peace Corps in West Africa and they'd like to see what the corporate world is like. Is the corporate world the enemy as they might have thought if they were you know, strictly in a Peace Corps mentality? Or is it a place where they can prosper? So they come to Fletcher, they all are full of intellectual curiosity, but they also have this edge, if you will, of intellectual wanting to know, intellectual insecurity that drives them to go into a new field, to jump into a new swimming pool, a place they've never been before, take on something totally new. And that's why Fletcher and consulting are similar worlds.